All right, welcome back to the build site. This is Torino. And uh, I'm just gonna give you kind of an update on progress so far. So I think the first few weeks of this, if not months, is gonna be uh, not very exciting because we're just going to be working with the foundation. But I'll take a walk around here and show you what what they've accomplished so far. I'm standing on what we could call the rear of the property. This would be looking into the pool area and the patio area. And right now they've they've been working on the, uh, the foundations and the Footings. And I think I think they said there's like 26 footings in total. And in contrast to the garage build, look how deep the footings are. I mean that's that's over six feet already. And I'm not even sure they're done yet, but that's gonna go go on all over here. And the actual, what they call ground zero, is the, you know, the, that's the actual floor of the first floor, and it's way up here. So they had to get a lot of clarification from the architect on that because the foreman wasn't sure this was correct but it is kind of a split level structure and they've made uh, a lot of improvements to the bodega and storehouse here they stole my table that I wanted but two, two one or two guys stay here at night or on the weekends and our Starlink is working fine. We've got it up there on the coconut tree. It is slightly obstructed, but uh, it's the signal really is it's, it, it does drop sometimes, but not enough to be annoying. And then I, this is how I I mounted the Starlink. If you check the Starlink's website, that is the preferred method to mount the router. So right here is where they've put down kind of a concrete slurry all over this area here because this is where they're going to be dumping in the aggregate, the gravel and your sand. And uh, they didn't want to get, a lot of times it gets mixed up with debris from the ground when you're mixing and all that so they made this little temporary pad for it these are the beginnings of our stairway up to the property this will eventually be concrete steps and then way down the line we might finish them with tiles or something not slippery but it's a lot easier getting up here the the horses carrier horses use this trail to the left of me but we'll be putting a, a handrail or banister up through here and landscape it all. Right here when you come to the top of the stairs, this will be technically the front of the house. But I believe, like many homes, sometimes the front door is the least used. Uh, we're probably gonna be accessing the house 
just by walking around to the pool area as I walk around here come back to the front of the house and these are our temporary steps that they're creating this first run here is done and then they're continued to curve around down to the barangay road I don't think I I mentioned it yet but um, as far as the structure we're not going to be using CHB or concrete hollow block we're going to uh, decided to go with metalite it's m-e-t-a-l-l -L, I think it's l-y-t-e <clears throat> metal light and that is a I would a new way of creating a poured in place structure concrete structure so the architect is already contracted with metal light and they're designing the basically the you know the walls and and flooring of, of the of the structure and they'll be delivering that in sections it's uh, modular so they'll, they'll assemble that right here and then we'll have a chance to go through it room by room and make sure that all the applicable conduit and water electrical etc are accounted for uh, and then it's just a matter of when you're ready to pour you simply pour your concrete vibrate it down and then after the after the required set period uh, the the metal light becomes one with the, your wall so you have steel form uh, comprising the, the hollow place you insert your own rebar and then uh, the outside of the metal light composite is it like a composite uh, I'm not sure exactly what it's made out of but that stays with the wall and uh, you finish it similar to the way you would finish drywall I believe so this is an interesting concept other people here in the Philippines have used are using it for construction so uh, really the the, the cost difference uh, I'm told is, is not very much um, it's within three to five percent I think either way of using concrete block but as you might guess the uh, the main reason is because we're up here on this bluff can you imagine a two-story structure here having the cart all that hollow block up by horse it would just be uh, <laughs> it would be a, a long process and not very fair to the horses so and and who doesn't want I mean poured in place is always going to be uh, valued more than concrete hollow block so that's going to be an exciting part of this build I think that's all for this update if anyone would like me to go into detail about anything else uh, that they might have interest in just leave me a comment and uh, and I'll do that until next time see you later